Hey everybody, welcome to Fine Curls Jess and I'm Jess of course. Um, today is going to be a Q&A video. Um, it's kind of my welcome back to YouTube video. Kind of giving you guys an update on my channel, what's going on with me, answering some questions that I feel like you guys may want to know, that sort of thing. So if you're interested in what I gotta say, stick tuned to this video. Okay, so before we get started, have you liked the video? Have you subscribed? It's free. Just click that red button to subscribe to my channel and click the bell if you want to be notified of every time that I upload a video. Um, for the first couple of weeks, maybe months until I get back into the groove of YouTube, um, my uploads will be on random days. Um, eventually, I'm going to even it out so they're going to be on consistent days. But starting off right now, you guys are going to get two videos a week from me, maybe possibly three. We'll just see. Okay, so I wanted to do a Q&A, kind of giving you guys an intro to my, um, into me if you've never been on my channel before, and basically kind of giving you an insight on who I am, what this channel is going to be about from here on out, that sort of thing. So, let's get started. So, the first question that I know some of you guys who are old subbies are going to ask is, what happened to living with Just B? That was your name. What happened to that? Well, I decided that I didn't want my daily activities, lifestyle, vlog kind of thing to go into this channel. This channel was solely founded on documenting my natural hair journey. So I wanted to get back to being that type of influencer on this channel. So there are going to be a lot more natural hair videos. You'll get the couple random get ready with me um, beauty kind of related type things maybe even some fashion here and there but I want to make this channel strictly natural hair videos so there's that I'm okay let me switch out my battery and I'll be right back with you okay sorry about that you guys so I wanted to change it up because I didn't want to focus on just food natural hair all that stuff I wanted to kind of keep them separate so I did create another channel which I'll link down in the description box below that's going to be mainly focused on vlogs um food videos health fitness that sort of thing so I kind of wanted to separate the two so on this channel you'll get a lot more about natural hair beauty and a little fashion here and there okay so that's the first thing second thing if you've been to my channel before and you are so used to um this is me this is simply gorgeous hey everybody it's jay welcome to simply gorgeous simply me simply gorgeous something along those lines i've gotten rid of my little catchphrase that's going to be in a lot of videos that you guys have seen simply because I don't ever go by gorgeous on here. I don't go by simply gorgeous, that sort of thing. So I don't think that it kind of goes into the downplay of everything. So from now, from now on, or from here on out, <laughs> I will just be called Jess. Um, which a lot of you guys who have followed me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat, that sort of thing, know me as Jess. Just call me Jess. Um, I basically made my name Fine Curls Jess because that's what I want to focus on on my YouTube channel. I make videos from natural hair um, women, but mainly I try to cater my video to fine hair women. I have thin, fine, naturally curly hair. So I make videos that cater to us because there are a lot of um, people on YouTube, a lot of women on YouTube who make natural hair videos and they have a thicker hair texture. There are a lot of styles that they're able to do that I cannot do. So I try to focus on catering to that audience um <clears throat> so yeah i think that gets away or that gets out of the way the questions that you know some of my old subbies may have because things have been changing a little bit on my channel so i kind of just wanted to put that out there okay so now let's get into the more recent questions that sort of thing and it's going to be mainly focused on my haircut um if you haven't followed me for a while if you don't know i've been natural for like i think eight years i don't i have i've lost track i can tell you i kid you not i've lost track um let's see my daughter's 11 
I've been in Nashville for eight years. I mean, nine years this year. I big chopped in May, like two weeks before her third or her fourth. No, before her third birthday. Two weeks before her third birthday. So um, I've been natural for a while. I've big chopped maybe four or five times in between. That sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I cut my hair off in September because I wanted a change. Honestly, I was tired of dealing with my straggling ends, not like dusting my ends off and my hair still getting tangled. I was focused on school and that was taking up a lot of my time and I just wanted something that was quick, simple and easy. So I went and I randomly wanted to cut my hair off. Did I plan on cutting this short? Absolutely not. Um, I really plan on having like, you know, the shorter hair in the back, a little bit of length at the top, but not much. Still enough length that I will be able to do protective styling, do braids, you know, do twists that I normally do. Um, I, that was my plan. And what ended up happening was the cut was just not coming out right. And I've done this cut on my hair numerous times before and it's came out perfect. This time it did not. And I just didn't know what to do. So I kept cutting, 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 cutting. And then after a while it was uneven. I didn't like it. So I was just like, you know what, forget it. I'm going to cut all my hair off and then we're going to go for what I know. So I ended up one, late one Friday night after taking my twist out cutting most of my hair off the next day I was uneasy about it um, I wasn't really sure that that was something that I really wanted to do I wasn't sure that I was gonna really like it and I ended up going um, to the barber shop go to a barber I don't go to a hairstylist um, I go to a barber to get my hair cut I ended up going to the barber and I looked at some pictures you know on Pinterest on Google that sort of thing to kind of get inspired and I really liked the low um, side almost like it looks like I may have like I'm growing a mohawk um, but low on the sides and you know it's kind of it's short in the middle but it's more length than on the sides of my hair and then the signature two lines um, I have gotten this haircut um, pretty much every time I go get my hair cut, it's the same haircut. Um, so yeah. I go to the barber every three to four weeks. Um, because my hair grows fast, but not too fast. And normally after I put my products in and everything else, it curls right back up and it looks about this length. So I only go every, th um, three weeks. Um, three to four weeks. Um... I have dyed my hair. I'm trying to cut out the dye. Um, I have a little bit of brown pieces like up in the front, but I dyed my hair like right before my birthday in October. So yeah, I just got a new haircut yesterday. <laughs> so this is new. Um, yeah, and I like it. I like the maintenance of it. I like how it's easy, it's simple. I spend like maybe three minutes on my hair in the morning and I'm good to go every morning literally um so yeah my routine for my hair has been quite simple and easy um i spray my hair with water i put in some moisturizer i seal it with some oil and then i normally put either a curling cream or a curling jelly on top and i'm good to go sometimes i do gel sometimes i don't it just kind of depends on my mood it's just really simple and easy and that's what i kind of like Will I grow my hair back out? I know you guys are probably dying. Are you going to grow your hair back out? And yes, I do plan on growing my hair back out. Now, the question is, when am I going to start growing my hair back out? I'm not sure. This is the longest that I've kept the cut and kept getting it cut in my entire life. Normally, I cut my hair off. Big change. Good. You know, something easy, something simple. And then I immediately grow my hair back out. So this is the first time that I've actually said, okay, I'm going to rock a shortcut and let that be it. I don't know how long I plan on rocking the shortcut. I wanted to cut most of the color out because I really have a bad tendency of dyeing my hair. So I kind of want to see what my hair is like being dark. Now, am I going to be dark forever? No, because I love uh, color. Will I go back to being blind? Absolutely not. I definitely would stick to my reds, my burgundies, my darker browns, that sort of thing. Um, I will be doing protective styling, so I don't want you to think that, oh, just because I cut my hair off and I have it short that I'm never going to do protective styling anymore. I'm never going to put any um, 
weaves or anything like that in my hair I do plan on you know going back to doing protective styling but I just am taking this time to get to know my hair to get used to my hair the problem is is that I relied on protective styling for so long that I don't really know how to take care of my hair when it's in its natural state now I know you guys are saying well you don't have that much hair so what do you have to take care of but honestly I'm still not even at a good routine where I know what my hair needs. Sometimes my hair feels dry. Sometimes my hair feels a little bit moisturized. Normally I'm used to in the winter time my hair is always in a protective style. So I don't have to deal with it. I don't be bothered. I moisturize it and it's good to go. This is totally different because I always have to do my hair because it's short. Um, I was thinking like, oh, you know, I miss my twist. I miss my braids. I'm not going to cut it. And I like made a last like whim decision like two days ago like oh no I'm going back to the barber and getting it cut so I'm very indecisive when it comes to my hair but I do plan on eventually getting to the point where I do um pay more attention to my hair and get a routine down pack that my hair actually loves and enjoys um so yeah coming soon there's gonna be a video on my weekly routine for my hair and it'll go more into depth on the products that I use um what I'm doing how I'm washing my hair that sort of thing I didn't want to want to include that in this video so yeah um if there's any questions you know you guys may have Ha may have going forward go ahead and leave them down in the comments below but like always thank you for watching and if you're not subscribed to my channel just saying it again you know it's an easy plug please subscribe to my channel click that red button it's free to subscribe and click the bell to be notified of when I make a video also all of my social media links are going to be down in the description box below. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat where I post the most. And you'll get a little bit more of a daily insight into the products I get. Um, that sort of thing. So yeah, until next time you guys. Bye.